I know that lot of you have been asking me this question for a long time now. And honestly, it keeps me up at night sometimes the number of messages I get from people in their 40s who are genuinely scared. They're asking, am I too old for AI? Do I need to go back to school and get a PhD in machine learning? Will AI replace me before I even get a chance to learn it? This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. If this is the first time you are visiting the channel, please subscribe and like the video. I have been in this space for a couple of years now, I mean the AI, but here is the thing. I didn't start my career in AI. I don't have any PhD. I don't have any top university degree in machine learning or AI. Like many of you, I pivoted into this field. And I want to share what I have learned, not just technically, but from watching hundreds of professionals navigate this transition, not only here in Australia, where I am based, but also all over the globe in the last two years. The people who have been following my channel know that I am posting multiple videos a day. Most of them are hands on. They are targeted towards actual use cases and I have my hands dirty not only on this channel but I have worked with hundreds of projects all over the globe in AI over the course of last two years. So very humbly I know that what I'm talking about but this is an open discussion. Please also leave your comments in um, under the video so that we could also carry on this discussion. First let me bubble uh, burst this bubble that's been artificially inflated by social media <clears throat> and tech bros you do not need a phd in machine learning to thrive in ai after 40. in fact some of the most successful ai practitioners i know don't have phd at all they have something more valuable real world experience i was at a conference last month and I met this incredible woman, 47 year old, former marketing director. She had been terrified that AI would kill her career. Fast forward all of these weeks and months. She's now leading AI strategy for customer experience at a Fortune 500 company in Jakarta, Indonesia. No PhD in AI or machine learning, not even a computer science degree. She understands customers, she understands business problems, and she learned just enough AI to bridge that gap. So why the fear exists and why it's misplaced? So the question again here is, why do people in their 40s panic about AI? I think there are three main reasons. First, the media narrative. Every day we see headlines about AI replacing jobs and the loudest voices are often 25 year old Stanford graduates talking about neural networks like they are speaking a foreign language. It makes AI seem like this exclusive club for young geniuses. Just go to the LinkedIn and you will see the select few who have been in the AI labs or they have done their PhDs in machine learning over the last two, three years, it would just seem like only they can understand, no one else can. <clears throat> but I think another more important reason here is the imposter syndrome as it hits harder at 40. I have personally experienced it and that is just a reality of life. You can also call it a midlife crisis. You have built expertise in something, maybe finance, maybe HR, maybe legal, maybe project management, maybe developer. And now suddenly everyone's talking about transformers and embeddings and you feel like you are starting from zero. But look, if you are in IT, especially, this is not the first time this is happening to you. I can tell you my story. I started um, as a junior developer long, long time back. Then I pivoted into Oracle databases. I was an Oracle DBA for a long time. Then cloud came. I looked at AWS RDS managed database. I knew if I don't reinvent myself, I will be a dinosaur. I will be obsolete in no time. So I have to, I had to reinvent myself to stay relevant. I learned cloud, AWS, GCP and all this stuff. 
and then i was in the market same is happening with ai every time you just feel like an outsider you just feel like an imposter but this is the lay of the land third reason that the learning curve looks steeper than it actually is when you see job posting asking for five plus year of experience with ai or gpt models or deep understanding of pytorch or writing the cuda kernels it feels impossible and i get it but here is the secret most of these job descriptions are written by people who don't understand ai either they have been written by chat gpt or cloud uh, anthropics cloud so what is the way forward let's try to un unpack that let me tell you one true story one of my um, colleague who i work with time to time in some of the you know independent consulting he is 44 he has spent 15 years in supply chain management last year he was convinced he needed to quit his job and get a master's degree in ai he's based in us i told him that look you understand supply chain better than any 23 year old phd ever will don't become a data scientist become the person who knows how to apply ai to supply chain problems and right now as we speak that guy is implementing ai powered demand forecasting system he didn't need to learn how to build neural networks from scratch he needed to understand what ai can do how to work with ai tools and how to translate business problems into ai solutions and just let it sit that is all you need in order to be successful and i am telling you this with all honesty let's talk about an action oriented a real concrete stuff here so these are the three pillars of ai which can help you survive after 40 years of age so first and foremost your 20 years in accounting marketing operations developers or whatever field you are in that's not baggage that's your superpower ai needs domain experts more than it needs more programmers again i will give you an example i know a 48 year old radiologist who was terrified and i worked with him on a project recently he was terrified that ai is going to read x-rays better than him and ai can by the way but instead of fighting it he learned how to work with ai diagnostic tools <clears throat> now he is more accurate than he has ever been he is helping train the next generation of ai models after fine tuning it on the proper data so that ai doesn't hallucinate he didn't need a phd he needed to understand how to collaborate with ai and that is the key here so this is a pillar one which i just mentioned that your experience is your superpower let's go to pillar two you don't don't really need to understand the back propagation to use ai effectively don't worry about gradient accumulation you need to understand what different ai models can do when to use them and how to integrate them into real workflows start with the basic understand what large language models or vision language models can do learn about rag systems maybe for knowledge retrieval explore ai agents for automation and get familiar with ai powered applications in your respective field i always tell people think of ai like excel you don't need to know how excel calculates formulas internally but you need to know when to use a vlookup versus a pivot table same with ai so you need to know when to fine tune when to use just prompt engineering or when to train a model or when to use rag so this is where you need to shine and that is where no one can beat you in your own domain <clears throat> here is something the 25 year old don't have and this is no disrespect to 25 year olds by the way so don't just hit on unsubscribe and run away the 25 year old ones i mean this is just an example the wisdom to know when not to use ai you understand business context you know when something feels off you can spot the gaps between the between what ai promises and what actually works i was consulting with a manufacturing company last month their young ai team had built this beautiful predictive maintenance system technically perfect but they forgot to account for the fact that maintenance happens during scheduled downtime not whenever the ai says so 
the 52 year old plant manager spotted this in five minutes that's the kind of insight you can can't really learn from a textbook or from chat gpt deep sequin or any other model but let's talk about some practical steps here so i'm going to give you a very generic high level six month ai survival plan you can mold it as you like happy to also uh you know discuss further on you i have a link on my on the home page of the channel where you can book a call with me we can go through this survival plan as per your own use case anyway so as you can see here um, i'm not going to talk more about it it's all very self-explanatory on the slides that start with the basic build your foundation take any um you know course or i would say just just, just go through my channel this is uh, not just a shameless plug of my channel but really i think i have done like thousands of videos in the last few years all relevant just search for basic courses on ai uh, basic concepts i already have them learn how to install a model play around with it and then do some uh, inference then move on to fine tuning rag and all that stuff next up once you have done that foundation building the basics tools and everything let's go to the next one where you need to get your hands dirty pick a few ai models and relevant to your field and become an expert maybe fine tune them and then start a small ai project even if it is just an automating and report build an ai agent Now, this is where you need to identify where AI can solve real problems in your own domain, become the go-to person, become the AI champion for your in your team, and start thinking about how to position yourself as an AI-enabled professional. Because once you have all of these months behind you, then you should start feeling better. You will still feel an imposter, but just go to LinkedIn, look at how people have become AI gurus overnight, and then you will start feeling better. Okay, so this is all um, we have discussed. Now, just like in traditional IT, there are places where experience is valued over age. So if you don't think that is uh, what's happening in your company, maybe time to move. I mean, sometimes you have to be brutally honest with yourself. So I would say, you know, just look at this second line this is what you need to focus on that ai is not just a young person's game it's not really really related to age at all it's a problem solving game and if you have been solving problems for 20 plus years you are already ahead of the curve you don't need a phd you don't need to code neural networks you need to understand your own domain learn ai as a tool and position yourself as a bridge between ai ai's capability and real world application very humbly i mean just look at me i mean um you know maybe my mid 40s i'm not going to tell you my exact age i'm too old so i'm in my mid 40s and i started this channel properly seriously two years ago so just in my 40s and i you know like everyone else i also feel all these fears and everything now this is where you need to you know show grit you need to believe in yourself uh, you will stumble you need to get up you need to pick yourself up right now as i speak this is 5 a.m here in sydney australia i woke up very early just to make this video because i have to do a lot of other things you know because the youtube channel this doesn't even pay well so i can't really run my household with it but this is just a labor of love this is my effort this is my um, promise with myself that i'm not going to go obsolete i'm not going to even if i feel impost you know as an imposter even if i feel that i'm not going anywhere i have to just keep going and i am more than sure just that just like i did with cloud i did with databases this thing will improve and we will be ahead of the curve all of this experience of the last uh, 20 years or so 
this will come handy the future belongs to professionals who can combine deep domain knowledge with ai literacy that's not the fresh graduate who can implement a transformer model that's experienced professional who knows which problems are worth solving how to solve them responsibly so start today pick one model use it for something small in your current job build confidence the people who will struggle with ai aren't the ones who are 40 plus they are the ones who refuse to start please like the video and subscribe to the channel and share this video i am very very grateful for your support